What's up guys, on our recent trip to the Detroit Zoo, we were kind of disturbed at all the litter and all the abandoned homes and all the burnt down buildings. So basically I looked up some facts and everything about Detroit that I'm going to share with you guys. My wife happened to record a bunch of footage on the way out from Detroit as we were heading out from Detroit. So you'll get to see a lot of disturbing footage there also. So um, Detroit has lost 250... 250,000 people in the last 10 years because of the bad economy. Detroit has an unemployment rate of an estimated 50% right now. And Detroit is the third most violent city in the United States. Since 1950, Detroit has lost 50% of its population, leaving a bunch of abandoned homes and abandoned businesses that are burnt down or abandoned and boarded up. A lot of people on Devil's Night will go out and burn houses. It's kind of a thing in Detroit that they just do. And uh, 200 on Devil's Night, 200 houses last year on Devil's Night were burned down. If uh, This um, footage that you shouldn't see in right here is these project buildings. There's about five project buildings that I could see that are actually all um, abandoned. And uh, bums stay in these abandoned buildings and everything and these uh, abandoned homes. And they end up creating uh, meth labs. There's a lot of meth labs, a lot of drug trafficking going on in Detroit. A lot of poverty. It's um, basically, uh, Detroit was actually booming back back in this day when GM was doing good. And everybody had good jobs. And Detroit was one of the most like beautiful places to live. It was one of the top financial places. And it all went down when GM went down and it left behind all the poverty-stricken people that still live in Detroit today and the families of those people. Seven out of ten murders in Detroit actually go unsolved. So if you were trying to murder somebody, most likely Detroit would probably be the place. But I'm not saying go murder nobody. But 90, there's 95,000 abandoned homes in, or burnt down homes in Detroit and there's 85,000 abandoned businesses in Detroit. Detroit um, has actually started to make changes about this. Um, a few years back, they uh, said in the next four years that they want to take down 10,000 buildings. So far, they've only gotten down 4,000 buildings. But that still doesn't make a dent in the 95,000 abandoned homes and the 85,000 abandoned businesses that are in Detroit. And uh, they're moving pretty slow. And so Detroit is basically an abandoned city, basically, and they want to tear it down, tear down a lot of these buildings, and they want to start making uh, urban farms, actually. They want to make Detroit into urban farms, the biggest urban farm city in the world is what they're actually trying to do. The bailout that Obama did a few years back to bail out GM uh, ended up creating 75,000 jobs, but the thing was, those 75,000 jobs were outsourced and none of the people in the Detroit city actually got to see those jobs. Detroit looks like Hurricane Katrina hit it. It really looks really bad. It looks like just the poverty stricken people were left behind. This is the only place in America that you can look around and see 30 foot skyscrapers all around you that are abandoned. One third of all businesses and uh, homes are actually abandoned in Detroit. Detroit used to be one of the very best high-class cities in America, so what happened? Graduation rates in Detroit are at 25%. You actually have a better chance of going to prison than actually graduating high school in Detroit. The average price of a home in Detroit is $800. Last year that someone bought a home in Detroit for one dollar. Detroit is getting so bad that cities that surround it, like the capital city Lansing, Michigan, and Flint, Michigan, are actually starting to see higher crime rates in their cities. For example, Flint is actually the number four most dangerous city to live in in America, and Detroit is number three. It's better than the year previous when Detroit was number two and Flint was number three. So with Detroit going down the tubes, what do you think should happen? How do you think they should resolve this? Thanks for listening. See you guys later. Subscribe.